Hello, Podlings, and welcome to this episode of Jupadre. Today, we have a little bit of an experiment. We talked at the beginning of Season 3 of having a lot of ideas and changes in what we wanted to do, and this is one of them. So, please, enjoy this wonderful time as we do a Try Not to Laugh Challenge. I hope that you laugh along with where we should be laughing, as I know that I will every time I listen back on this episode. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Jupadre, the conversational podcast with absolutely no roadmap. I am Jupadre. I'm Albatross17. And I'm Bleen. Okay, was it me, or was he just, like, spitfiring that, like, out? Yeah, he was. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get it, man. I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. And actually, uh, the intro that we typically do is a bit of a misnomer this week, because we have a bit of a map today. We do, yes. Today... Is not a conversation, but more of, so we had an idea, and we're going to do it today. Today, it's going to be, so you think you won't laugh. Is that really what it's called? It's close enough. We'll go with that. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to have Bleen. You can see him here in the right. shot. He is going to be reading jokes, and Albatross and I are going to try not to laugh. Watch. I'm a, okay. <laughs> and whoever laughs the least wins the challenge. And I think I know how to set it up on the video where I can actually keep a counter on there for sorry, easy peasy. Do that. Yeah, yeah, we can just do this. Okay. One. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> all right. Well, we both just lost a point there or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. No laughing. Let me just pull Here on. we go. Squeeze I... my nuts every time. <laughs> just kidding. Balls. Okay. Okay. That was the test. To be honest, I've actually been practicing that one. <laughs> ha! Thank you. All right, Bleen. Testicle. When, no. When you're ready, you go ahead and start it off. Okay. So I just want to say I stole these. These are not my own jokes. Some of them I thought were funny. Some of them I thought these guys would think was funny. So uh, I'll just start off with the first one. Now, what discerns losing? Like, as if I smile? He, he, no, you can smile and you can breathe and sigh, but bleed. Okay, so, if, so you it's literally like laugh. A chuckle or a laugh. That That is, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, because. You can sigh and you can grunt. Just okay. like, the, have you ever seen Markiplier? No. Okay, never mind then. Uh, if I detect you lose control is how I'm going to Okay, cool. Okay. 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 First one. I'm already in a bad mindset. I know. Love is like a fart. If you have to force it, <laughs> it's probably shit. <laughs> I kind of feel like I already lost that one. Yeah, a like, little bit. I, well, because like I, I'm already in this mindset of oh, love, tr boy. Of, of laugh. Like it's like when you go to a, a comedy club, you're already laughing at everything. Yeah. <sighs> That was a good joke. I like that a I, lot. I, we both lost that one then. Did you? Did, no, no, not even close. Okay. No. okay. Is it possible to mistake a schizophrenia person from telepathy? That's pretty clever. I like that a lot. I, I like it a lot. I don't think it's a I'm laugh out puns. loud joke, but. I like that's a thinker joke. I like that one. Okay. Life is like a box of chocolate. It doesn't last long if you're fat. <laughs> <I'm sorry. I> <laughs> that is definitely a point lost over here. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna be horrible at this game. Mm. You've been practicing though too, haven't I, you? I've been so Markiplier has a YouTube channel and he has like 30 videos of try not to laugh, and I just sit there and watch them and he watches YouTube videos and TikTok clips and all those type of things, so it's worse than jokes. <laughs> I don't know how I can't do this, because I watch Cyanide and Happiness all the time, and I'm like... Okay, go. Okay. Um, my dad always said, always leave them wanting more. Ironically, that's how he lost his job. That's good. You know, just the darker side of me thought that that was going to end. That's... Or he did that to me or something like that. Like the dad abandoned the kid. That, oof, that would have been bad. 
I really wish ISIS would stop playing violent video games. Nice. Okay. That's a half point right there. I'll, I'll take the half. I'll take the half. Oof. One thing you'll never hear a Hindu say. Ah, oh, well, you only live once. That's pretty good. As a kid, I always made to walk the plank. We couldn't afford a dog. Say that one again. As a kid, I was always made to walk the plank. We couldn't afford a dog. Okay, I got it now. <laughs> I got it now. That took I me had, a moment. I, that one was hard because it reminded me of Plank from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Oh my gosh, I was thinking <laughs> that exact same thing. Yes. Okay. I saw a documentary on how ships are kept together. Riveting. Nice. I like that. I'm good. Stephen Hawking had his first date for 10 years last week. He came back, his glasses were smashed, and had a broken wrist, wrist and twisted ankle. And Grace knees. Apparently she stood him up. That is a great joke. <laughs> wow. I think if you weren't trying so hard, you would have gotten I've, a huge I definitely would have laughed way. pretty hard if I'm, I weren't trying. I'm doing a lot better now, but I'm, yeah. I'm concentrating yeah. so hard. Ooh. Okay. I am writing... Should we, should we not be able to talk? Because that kind of helps not laugh. No, because then it's just me talking. He oh. has a point. <laughs> okay, okay. I am writing a film script about going back in time to stop Hitler's parents meeting at the Austrian enchantment under the sea dance. It's called Back to the Fuhrer. That's a German joke. It's pretty good. Son, I don't think you're cut out to be my, uh, mine. Was it something I said? The son asked. Yes. I get it. I don't get it. You're not cut out to be a mime? Oh, I thought he said a mine. Oh. I, you're not cut out to be mine. Here, That's look, my bad. Let me see that. Okay. okay can I see what? Oh, no, no. The, the papers real quick. Papers? Papers? Yeah. Papers. Try not to laugh. Okay. Oh, uh, you're going to you, read one? I'm going to just one? grab a random page. All right. So, background on this. I typed in dad jokes list printed off f four pages and just stuck them in there. I okay. haven't read any of them. I've got mine. Try not to laugh. Oh, am I included now? Sure. Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, who goes first? I'll go first. Oh, crap. <laughs> you lost. Uh, I'm okay with that. Okay, okay. What did the policeman say to his belly button? You're under a vest. That's a good joke. I like that one. Albatross oh, okay, that was breathing. Hard. That was hard. Okay. Very purposefully. Yeah. Me. I'm hungry. Dad. Hello, hungry. That's a classic. It is a classic. I've never right. heard that one Your before. Turn. I know, right? Um, Oregon, Oregon leads America in both marital infidelity and clinical depression. What a sad state of affairs. Wow. It's a dark, funny joke. It's very funny. Okay. Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. A man just attacked me with cheese and milk. How dare he? <laughs> I started laughing because you had to not chuckle yourself. Yeah, oh. yeah I did. I, I had oh, to I that one. That one. Mm, I like that one a lot. Okay. Okay. Ooh-wee. Okay. How many apples grow on a tree? All of them. Okay. I was about to say that. That's a... G what a silly joke. I had a job drilling holes for water. It was... Oh, it was well boring. 
It was, well, boring. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, I'll take the point on that yeah. one, too. Damn it. Oh. Oh. Why don't eggs... Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying this way too much. <laughs> what I'm... I am just... Dis- I'm worried about uh, the interaction from the audience, too, because I think a big part of our show is that we laugh a lot, and it fills a lot of sound oh. and everything, and so this is probably really going to sound I'm getting awkward. lightheaded with how much I'm trying to breathe from this. Why don't the listeners count how many times they laugh? Okay, I like that. send that, that in, in D-Mac? Uh, Yikes. Okay. Why don't eggs tell jokes? Because they crack easy. Because they'd crack each other up. I'm actually... You know that lightheaded feeling when you're breathing too hard? Yeah. You're Is hyperventilating it? from forcing yourself not to laugh? Yeah. Is that... Actually, I think it's... I don't know. I don't know. I never had a baby. She had the baby. She had the baby. <laughs> ah! Mm. I'm going to count that one as my joke. Okay. Wayne, your turn. I took out a loan to pay for an exorcism. If I don't pay it back, I'm going to get repossessed. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. You laughed at your own joke. Does that count as a point? Sure. Sure. Kay. I'm going to lose because mine are funny. I had a pile of RAM, but I can't quite recall where I put it. Must have lost my memory. Okay, I got it. I got it. That one makes me very happy. I would have laughed out loud at that one. Well, I was, I've was i been playing Horizon Zero Dawn, and immediately I was thinking of Ram, so I was like, huh? I, yeah, I got Is that. that a currency in the game or something? Or No, you... it's uh, all the creatures that are mechanical animals. And yeah. one of them is a type, it looks like a ram. Oh, bummer! So, yeah. Okay. How does a penguin build its house? Wow. It glues together. Wow. I appreciate that. Tuesday? Are you going to use that joke Tuesday? Tuesday? Oh, possibly. Okay. I'm probably going to bring these all to work and hang them oh, up on the wall. Oh, man. Dang it. In my last relationship, I hated being treated like a piece of meat. She was a vegan and refused to touch me. I'm laughing. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> I I figured it was gonna be a dick sucking joke. Oh my gosh, that was that great. was that was good. High five on that Holy one. Holy crap! I'll okay. take the point on that. Okay. That deserves it. Okay. My wife says I'm the cheapest man in the world. I'm not buying it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. I like that one a lot. Oh man. Okay, I'll take the point. Yeah. Okay. What do you call a Mexican who lost his car? What? Carlos. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, Blaine. When I found out the amusement park was taking photos of me while on rides without my permission, I was fluming. I got it. I got it. That's good. I thought I'd get you with that one. Nah. All right. One more each? Sure. You want to hear a joke about construction? Let you put it together first? I'm still working on it. Okay. Are you ready, Blaine? Mm-hmm. Hold on. <sighs> me. Dad, make me a sandwich. Dad. Dad. Poof, your sandwich. Well played. Well played. I like that. Okay. Last one. What do you call a smelly Santa? What? Farter Christmas. Like Father Christmas. I was trying to get fart in there somewhere, but I couldn't figure it out. I was like, I was like, 
Santa and Smelly aren't, aren't like close enough. Oh, well. But, okay. All right. Well, that's the end of our little challenge here. We got some good laughs, told some good jokes. I guarantee every one of those would have made me laugh if I wasn't trying to. Oh, I'd my gosh. I love laughing. That was There's harder than I thought. I see, can, I, is the show you guys were talking about, the one where they got the two people there, and somebody even comes out doing something funny and they try no. to laugh? Because I think that's the one where they do the water in the mouth. So if you lose I don't any like water. Act, yeah, I don't like watching that one. I think that they're they're trying too hard to be silly instead of funny. And I think okay, there's a yeah. distinct I, difference. I can see that. I've only seen a couple videos, and some of the things they do, I'm like, I'm like, I honestly I think it's more the mindset, because somebody walked out with a ball and like fell, I probably would go, Oh, dude, do you need some help? Yeah. Like, I wouldn't really laugh. It changes no. your mindset. Yeah, I've seen I've seen two kinds. I've seen those where people submit videos. And then the host watches the video and tries not to laugh. I've seen that too. Um, or there's the other one kind of like this where you have two guys telling jokes back and forth and they count. I lost it pretty good on some of those. I would have laughed a lot harder, but I was trying not to. Yeah. It, what What's interesting is a lot of people are like, oh, I like dark humor, but stupid, super innocent humor sometimes really takes the cake. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. I would have to agree. I, th I think that puns are amazing, and I love just all these silly little jokes. We actually just talked about this at work, and apparently our coworkers say puns are the lowest form of comedy, mm -hmm. but farts and poop jokes are the, are the all-time high. Farts yeah. are funny. Yeah. Farts are funny. Farts are funny. I... I do have to admit that very first joke you told about the, the relationship is like poo, or like, what, what, how did it start? Relationships oh, are like, what are... He's going to have to pull it, gonna out. Pull it out. Uh, Oops. The farts. They're like farts. Okay, yeah. and then if if you hold it in too long... It's... Anyway. <laughs> so, those are our jokes for the evening. Send us your favorite jokes. Also, don't forget to send us how many times you laughed. See how you stack up toward our scores. I will have those posted up here. And if you'd like, I can even get all these jokes that I printed off. And we can send... We can post pictures of them. Because I just downloaded pictures off the internet and stuck them in a Word document. So I have all of those saved, and we can tweet those out if you'd like. So hit That'd us up. That'd be pretty funny. Yeah. You like it? That'd be pretty funny, yeah. Pardon me. And if you guys don't mind, send in your favorite joke. Yes. And we'll pick the best one and share it in a week or two. Hey. He's the pun guy. I'm the dirty sexual guy, and... I laugh at everything. <laughs> yep, pretty much. I'm still trying not to laugh, because I don't want the points to come up. Okay, no, and moving on to what the F. Yes. Today's episode is brought to you by Virtual Performance. Via the internet, they provide personal fitness training, meal planning, and coaching. Which is important for staying healthy. Virtual Performance will not only help develop your physical strength and endurance, but also your mental fortitude. This will improve your life and your gaming skills. Even the professional gamers have training regiments. That means the rest of us need one too if we're going to get as good as they are. So... Find Virtual Performance online at trainingvp.com, on social media at thetrainingvp on both Twitter and Instagram, or send them an email, info at trainingvp.com. Last week, we had three nominations. Sodat. <laughs> I saw that. Saw that. That's right. Yeah. Saw that. What a tool. And, um, no? That's right. That's right. Who do you think won? It, it was close. I enjoyed them all last week. I thought they were all good. Yeah, surprisingly, um, no, didn't get anything. None. Yeah, no votes. I thought somebody was like, oh, you don't, don't touch my stuff. Mm -hmm. um, no, it was What a Tool. Nice. nice. Woo! Yeah, so Great good job. Okay, so this week, you get to go first. Or choose. Choose. You get to choose two or who goes first. I'll go first. Okay. okay. So, I received a package this week. What was it desk? No. Moose's desk. I had it delivered to my uh, dad's place just because I didn't want it delivered to my place because it was a little bit more expensive than a really cheap delivery. Mm -hmm. I get it, yeah. So when if you were a delivery driver and you had to put something down, what burbs would you try and avoid happening to that box? Well, breaking. Breaking. Crushing. Crushing. Slipping. Okay. Would you put it right behind the garage door? Oh, no. 
Your dad backed into it? He almost did. Oh. Thank goodness. But why would he put, why would a delivery driver put it right behind the garage door when cars are or garages are for cars? I would never put it there. No. And so most homes, the garage is like six feet away from the porch. Yes. And so, and are, is he at your grandma's place? Yeah. Dude, it it's was like, like six steps. steps. Have you been out there? I have. I, I I can picture it right now. Dude, that house has bad luck with deliveries. Oh, oh so, Can I ask what the package was? It was a router. Oh, you. Oh, that's right. That's Hooray! what I saw. Okay. I, it makes way more sense now because I was thinking like... Because I was thinking of Moose's desk. I was like, that's yeah. a big package. She wouldn't really He's miss that. He's never getting that desk. No. But that, that package, you know, like that. Yeah, I feel bad. He spent money on that desk. Yeah. Bummer. Well, there you go. What the yeah, F? Yeah, what the F? Uh, I can... I haven't thought of a good name for it. There isn't a good name because that should never come up. Yeah. That's Since it was a router, but not a good route? Okay. Sure. Okay. I like it. Okay, I'm who's next? typing that up right uh, here. Go ahead. Ah, oh, 200! I started watching a YouTube, a YouTuber, rather, who has a couple of series. One of his playlists is Don't Buy This. One I've of the thought about starting one of those, but go ahead. One of the products is called Shreddies Flatulence Filtering Underwear. I need some right now. Okay, so this, first of all, that's weird to me, but that's not the what the F part. The what the F part is I didn't believe that was real, and I didn't understand what it was supposed to do. So I actually went on their website, and I, I looked into what it's supposed to do, and it's this special carbon layer at the back of the underwear that literally absorbs the gases and lets the air go out without scent, and this is a picture from their website showing the effectiveness of this underwear. Oh my gosh, is that like the saying? I, oh, dude, she's so hot, I'd suck a fart out of her ass. I, I don't know, but this is can this you is can you website. can you please screenshot yeah. that and send it to me? I, I need to, to send that to Liquid because every time I'm like, dude, here's my new celebrity crush, and I'll go, dude, I'd suck a fart out of her ass, and I'm Kay. like. Do you want this one with the full website, or do Both. you want this one with Both. the... Okay. Both. You know what? I don't even need oh. it. Shreddies. I, I gotcha. I got... I will have to describe this for everyone. Okay. Right, can there, I see that again? Yes, you may. There is hold a, on, a woman wearing briefs and a bra. I gotta be honest. She's actually kind of hot, too, but I, I wouldn't suck a fart out of her ass. Leaning forward while a man has his nose pressed to her butt. It's the weirdest thing I have ever seen on a legitimate product website. And this is real. Like they have combos and gift boxes and all sorts of things. That they, and it's more than underwear. First of all, you can get, you know, th you know, boxers, briefs, boxer briefs, high, uh, high waist boxers, uh, sorry, high waist briefs for the women. You can get pajama pants. They have jeans. It's a legitimate product, but how do you get away with this picture on your website? It, what the F is this? I know where you're coming from, but here's my interpretation of it. It got you. <laughs> Granted. <laughs> the name alone, flatulence absorbing underwear. What is this? Shreddies. Shreddies. And you haven't listened to the newest episode of uh, Middle Somewhere, have you? No. Damn it! You're now that I say that you're gonna get something. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll you'll, get you'll get it. Okay. So that's that's my submission. It's not the product or the website. It's the picture on the website. You can't have a picture of a man shoving his face in a woman's butt on your website. In my opinion. What the f? I'm smiling because she was pretty hot. She is like, hot. Like I'm not disputing that. But I, I still wouldn't stick my my nose in no. her ass. Like, no. I'll be no. honest. No. Assholes are gross. Even mm. if, even if she is that hot, quote unquote. Let's let's say that's a thing. I'm not sucking a fart out of her no. ass. No, you wouldn't do that to anybody. No. And like, imagine being told, "Hey, we're gonna take a picture. You lean forward and smile." Like, is that proof that women do do that? Yes, <laughs> that's that's a good joke. Okay, okay. I, I had to get back in in laughter mode when you said that because I was like, "What are you talking yeah, about?" Yes. Girls, yeah, 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 yeah. But that's my submission. What the f? 
I'm, I want to call it fart pants because that, that alludes to uh, a joke in Diablo 3 where there's, there's a pair of pants that does the exact opposite. If there are three enemies around you, it actually releases gas and deals damage to them. I, yeah, I've seen that. I've Pox seen that swans. Yep. And they're one of my favorite items just because they're fart pants. Fart pants. Yeah. So, Albatross. Next. Okay. Monday night. Okay. It's three o'clock in the morning. My smoke alarm decided to start singing the song of its people for a dead battery. Oh, the chirps. I lay there thinking, yeah, I can ignore it. No. Every minute. Beep. <laughs> Another minute goes by. Beep. Took me about, because I had to get up and like figure out what was going on. I had mm -hmm. to try and find it. I couldn't figure out which one it was. So... Um, I was like, okay, you know, it sounds like it's either the one in my son's room or the one in the hallway. Mm -hmm. Replace the one in the hallway. And I was like, okay. Here's the sad part is the beep stopped for like five minutes. Okay. So I, and they're all connected to each other. Yes. Physically. So I removed the battery. I was like, okay, didn't stop. So I was like, screw it. Pulled it out, disconnected it from the system. I was like, that's me. Set it on the counter. Hopped back in bed. Mm -hmm. Beep. I was like, bah, beep. And I'm like, no, what? I walked out there. It wasn't that one. It was the one in my son's room now. Oh, and I'm like, no. are you kidding me? <laughs> Went over to the breaker. Cause I was like, I'm done with this. Turned off all my smoke detectors. Cause I was like, nope, I'm not doing are this. Are they the rest all on the one breaker for you? They're all on one breaker. Oh. I live in a three bedroom apartment. Yeah. yeah They're on one breaker. Turn them off. Left the batteries in the ones that weren't beeping. Removed the one from my son's room as quiet as I could. Yeah. As soon as I found out, as soon as I removed it, he was awake. Oh, no. <laughs> We're about 3.30 in the morning now. Oh, no. Oh, I should mention, between the time of the first one, I was hunting for a 9-volt battery. So, pulled his out, removed it, set it on the counter. Now, you know how some electronic devices will actually still retain a charge? Yeah. Well, I removed the battery. It's not connected to power at all. There's no power in it. It doesn't beep. Three minutes, four minutes later, beep, and I'm like, I turn around because there's not one in my living room. It's in the hallway. Uh huh. Um, but that one doesn't have battery. It wasn't that one. So I look over and I see it flash out and go beep. I'm like, no, fuck you. <laughs> so I was like, babe, get the pillow. And she's like, what for? And in my head, I'm like, because I'm gonna push the test button because it's the test button and the silence button are the same fucking button. Yeah. They should really separate those <laughs> for this reason. So I, I, I put it on the couch, which has the most cushions, you know, and then as if I was trying to murder somebody with a pillow, I put it on top of that. I put my finger in there and I pushed the button and then I pushed the button and held it down for five seconds. No more beeps. It's 4.30 in the damn morning mm -hmm. <laughs> by this time because I had to get my son. Okay, sorry. By the time I got my son back to sleep, my wife back to sleep and, you know, lo not locating a battery and got two of them removed, it had been like an hour and a half. I couldn't go back to sleep. No. I had been up since three. I was tired. I was exhausted. My son was up. He, I was like, he, I, I, it's going to be a bad day tomorrow. <sighs> Call my boss at seven o'clock. I text my boss at seven because, okay, look, seven o'clock is an hour before my shift. Can I please call off today? If you want me to explain, I will. Just, I just need today. And he goes, do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. He still doesn't know because he, he understands sometimes you just need a day. I just, I was not in the mentality, like, I need to go to work. And so I took the day and I was just like, so I went to the dollar store because I'm not buying batteries that are $4 a mm -hmm. battery just so that they can slowly drain in a dang smoky. Replaced all of them in the house. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. <laughs> My wife was like, do we really need to do that? Yes. yes. I'm replacing all the lady. Because I only have five of them in my, four of them in my house, in my mm -hmm. apartment. Um, yeah, surprisingly, I only have four in my apartment. Weird. It's, it's one per bedroom and then the the living room, isn't it? It's actually the hallway, which um, it's like right, it's like right, in f um, right before the kitchen. But um, the main rooms are, are protected. Yeah. So, because um, it's hard to put one in there. I just, uh, or they just never did. Anyway, 
I was buying five of them because like I'm also gonna have a spare. Well, yeah, for when this happens again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, screw you, <laughs> pee holes. But no, um, three o'clock in the morning. So yeah. I bring the batteries up to the cashier, and she goes, "That time of year, huh?" And I said, <laughs> "I'm replacing all of them." She goes, "I would." Yeah, it's the same thing with light bulbs. One goes out, you just replace them all. Mm -hmm. But yeah. It took me an hour and a half to get the entire situation settled. My son settled. My wife settled. I just, nope. I wouldn't go back to bed. No. Nah. It was 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, like, why would you at that point? It was, I think it was actually like 4.43 when I checked my phone. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I was like. Yeah, I get up at 6. If it's 4.43. I wake up at, I wake up before 6 o'clock every morning and then. Um, I check my phone to see what time it is because my alarm hasn't gone off but maybe three or four times yeah. since I've turned 18. I wake up before my alarm just because I've always had a morning job. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, well, I got to be up in like an hour or two. I'm going to mess up my, my clock if I go to sleep now. Mm -hmm. So I dragged all day. I am so sorry. I... <sighs> what are you going to call that? I I, uh, I don't know. It's, I want to say something with alarm or like if where there's smoke, there's fire because it's a smoke alarm. Yeah, it is. But Excuse me. And it got a fire underneath you to swap all your batteries. Yeah, I got heated. But the thing is, it really tells me I'm a bad cook more than it does detect a fire. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the case for most people. That's why I believe only one of the however many smoke alarms in my house are even up still. Right? Yeah, I take mine off. They suck. I really hope that... Our house doesn't burn down. They don't even detect smoke. What the do, do you know? Do you know how they work? No. They just detects the differential in um, oxygen. That's why when you get out of the shower, if you open the door, sometimes the steam will do it. It's because yeah. the the oxygen to um, whatever other the, the oxygen level it, it's detecting uh, changes. Mm. That makes sense though, because can you really detect smoke itself? I don't know that it's that much different. It could probably detect like the particles in it, but that's what I was told by a firefighter once. Because it doesn't actually detect smoke; it just detects the rapid change in the amount of oxygen it detects in the air. Hmm. All right, so let's let's get a name. I don't for this know and... what to name that. I I don't, but yeah, that smokeless sonata. Smokeless because they're all singing at you. A sonata is a type Karen, of song. The smoke detector. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Karen. Every Karen out there is just cringing at her. Or simply D Mac. No. <laughs> Don't call it D Mac. Smokies. We'll call it, I think Smokies is okay. That's okay. Oh gosh. I I was so mad. I believe it. I've had so many what the F moments this week, but I think that one takes the cake. Alright. Then yeah. let's get a quick run back and we'll move out. Move we on. have not a good route, fart pants, and smokies. So don't forget to vote on that. The Twitter poll will go up. It will go up soon. as soon as this video has been uploaded, which should be Friday. We ask that you please vote as soon as possible. That way we can get all the accounts. Put it on wherever. Comment your vote. Message us on Instagram, social media. Uh, so social media for Instagram, Twitter, YouTube video. Email us. DM us. Whatever you would like to do. I will find it. I will count it. Perfect. Any Anything else before we move on to announcements? Nope. Nope. Do, 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 do. Announcements. Today's What the F Moment was brought to you by Soza Clothing. Soza Clothing provides shirts, hoodies, hats, accessories, and even game coats. Cheaper than you can find them elsewhere at times. You can even customize the clothing with your gamer tag if you so desire. And the best part is you can use code JUPADRE to get 15% off. That's right. 15% off. Use code JUPADRE, J-U-P-O-D-R-E, at SozikClothing.co. All right. So announcements, <laughs> here we are. Um, the red on my face is because I was at a lake for two days. Nice. It's, it's not me embarrassed or holding in laughter. Woohoo. That's one. It's increased since we started the podcast. I so. believe that. Eh. <laughs> all right. League of Legends, we made it through the quarterfinals. Yes. It went all five games. It was so spectacular. Like, it shouldn't have been. Games three and four shouldn't, I mean, four and five shouldn't have happened. Yeah. 
We, sh we should have won in three, but we didn't. We went to five. We got the win. Now we're in semis. That is going to be 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, September 5th. Because tomorrow's the 4th. Yes. Correct. Okay. September 5th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Remember to follow at Rated R LLC to get the notification or me at Juhadre where I will have the Twitch link. That is semifinals against, get this, the first seed from our division with whom we are one and one in the regular season. Ooh. It's a best of five against the team we have already played twice. And beat. Beat wow. once, Be oh, lost oh, once. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, one and one, duh, that makes yeah. sense. Oh boy, it's going to be super good, it's going to be intense, and if we win that, we're on to the finals. It's going to be legendary. Because it's League of Legends, I see what you did there. That's yep. a good joke. Yeah, and Juhadri does a great job of shoutcasting, so please Thank watch. You. Thank you. I, do you shoutcast those? I do. Oh, okay. I do a solo cast most of the time, too, because people are always busy, and I don't want to bug anybody else. That's hard. Our coach will jump in from time to time, and he'll he'll talk, and he has a lot of good insight. The, oh, yeah. the, the man knows this game like almost no one else I know. He is so smart. Good. He's just not a great... He's not an entertainer, which is the only flaw to him. I love you, Rage. So, that is all I have. Do you guys have any announcements? Announcements. Um, no, I don't have any. I mean, oh, you know what? I didn't tell Blaine this, but I'm going to announce it so maybe others will follow suit. It is the first week of September, and I am halfway done with Christmas shopping. <laughs> I feel like a responsible <laughs> adult this year. Look at you. Look you're, at you. You're replacing smoke alarm batteries. You're halfway done with Christmas shopping. You Fuck my life. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I think we're going to pull this episode of Jupadre to an end. Have a good weekend. Labor Day weekend. Thanks to everybody who joined us today on Jupadre. We hope you had a great time and we hope you join us next week. Don't forget to follow us on social media. On Twitter, we are at Jupadre, at Juhadre, at Albatross17, at Blaine with three ins, and at Rated R LLC. We also have Instagram. Just look up any of our ats or at Jupadre. Or hit us up on our Slink link. It's myslink.app forward slash Jupadre. Don't forget to vote for what the F. We hope to see you next week, my bodies. Big boo! <laughs> I hope you forget. <laughs> Forget what? To edit it out? No, that I did that? You're gonna go, <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. <laughs>